Hello student, my name is Manoranjan Dora. So uh, I am explaining about the TRMS experiment. Up to the experiment number 3 I already told. So experiment number 4 onward I want to explain in this video. So experiment number 4 is the cross path from pitch rotor identification. Okay. So this is cross path pitch ident rotor identification. You need to open this. Okay. And you need to build this circuit by clicking build button incremental build. After that you need to click it connect to target to get all programs sent to the real time real model of TRMS system and if you if you play there then your system will start rotating the now pitch mode pitch motor is rotating okay so you are going getting the signal from two signals you are getting here one is control signal one is pitch and yaw angle okay this is pitch pitch rotor this is your rotor so we are giving pitch angle we try to rotate the pitch pitch rotor and try to control the yaw angle so that is called cross part by rot rotating pitch we try to control the yaw angle that is called cross part if you rotate pitch and try to control the pitch angle that is called main part. Now we are using cross part identification. So that this system will run like this for 100 seconds. It will run like this for 100 seconds. So this is the x axis for timeline and this is for control signal. So approximately 1.5 volt you are giving maximum and this is the pitch angle pitch rotor angle okay so now we move to experiment number 5 Experiment number 5 is cross part from your rotor identification. Okay, same thing you need to do incremental build here, then connect to target, then you can rotate the this your your blade and try to control the pitch angle. This is the control signal what what is the what voltage you are giving with particular time frame okay. so next experiment is for experiment number six that is called one degree of freedom pitch rotor control so first we are going to going to check the simula simulation model to set our PID value, see here KP, KI, KD values are given. So we arbitrarily we can change that uh, we change this to KP is equal to 1, KI of 7, and KD equal to 11. Now we build it incremental build, then play button. Now you can get this simulation curve. Okay. Now what is it shows actually? So we need actually this trajectory, this one, this line. The blue line is our original line. From encoder we are getting this trajectory. But accord by what uh, the PID value we set arbitrarily, that will control our 
try to control our trajectory within the required range this is the required range this is the required line but if you we are according to our PID value initially it will jump so high and it will down it can down and it will go like this and it will slightly shift our trajectory but if you say after 40 seconds after about 40 seconds it is little bit of following our trajectory but exactly not it is somehow this shift are there this amount of shift is there so this amount of shift is there okay so we need to put another PID value arbitrarily and check again numbers of time and when our trajectory required trajectory this one and this one will match that KPKID value we take out from there and put in real time model for safety our rotor real rotor okay this is the yaw angle in azimuth unit is azimuth angle okay then we are going move to experiment number seven that is real time model for one degree of freedom initially we check the what pid value will be good for following the required trajectory same thing same kpkid value we are giving here and apply okay and incremental build and connect to target all those things settings we did here and after that we try to run our setup now its pitch is running one degree of freedom means only one fan will run here so control signal this is a control signal we are getting in the first draft and second line we are getting like this but initially it has so much of peak so it is not good so we need to try once again and try to make it stable and check with another KPID value so it shouldn't do like that okay so next experiment in next experiment experiment number a this is one the degree of freedom your control this is the same thing first we need to control change the pid controller value value in simmet and simul simulation then try to run it like this and check whether the is following the trajectory with the corresponding pid value or not then then same thing then we are this is not exactly not following our trajectory the blue line is somehow sometimes will go above our trajectory okay so we need to put another PID value and check it again if it is okay then that PID value we need to take it out and put in next experiment that is experiment number nine this is real time model okay real time one degree of freedom your control so your fan is running so you get the signal like this your angle 